Mr. Rick Reed is a common face amongst the halls of McPherson High School. Inside room 65, he's promoting new educational practices. It's the method of quantum learning. I took some time to sit down with him and talk to him about his obscure teaching methods. How many years have you been teaching? I've been teaching for 25 years at the senior high level. Where did the quantum learning concept come from? Quantum learning actually started in Romania with a professor named Dr. Georgia Lazanov and his view was what happens in brains that basically the of neurological damage that we can get the learning to happen again that we have a lot of brain, brain plasticity with and can we regenerate the learning uh, in people that have lost the capacity to learn. Quantum is making a leap in instructional methods going away from maybe how you were taught ways that have really very little effect on kids other than maybe affecting kids to a certain level. Uh, taking a leap away from the norm of a school system. To say it's away from traditional teaching methods is absolutely wrong. It's a lot of traditional methods, but done in very different ways that accelerate brain compatible learning. Mr. Reed's class, it was, it was pretty different. It was a uh different learning environment, one that I've been in. I've never been in something like that before. Um, but it, it was it was good for me. It was, uh, it was making me think outside the box, making me come up with different conclusions on how to do things, forcing me to critical think, which is which is probably it's a good thing. A good thing will help me in life. Students respond enthusiastically. Um, I use it both in my advanced government classes and my regular government classes and what you learn immediately is there's no difference in the brains between an advanced placement student and a regular government student, absolutely none. Are you distributing the idea? The district, USD 418, has trained every teacher in quantum learning. It kind of comes to their choice whether to take that step out of their own comfort zones and use quantum learning in their classrooms. Uh, we, Chad Brake and myself, constantly try to educate people, try to bring people new ideas, make them comfortable uh, to distribute the idea. How are the test scores in relation to the standard teaching methods? When I go back and look at my assessment scores, assessment scores in all classes are up. Um, what begins to happen, you start to understand Dr. Marion Diamond's research on brain plasticity and the idea that neurons that fire together wire together and you can get students to learn in very very different ways that bring them into their comfort zones uh, you would think it'd be out of their comfort zone brings them into their comfort zone gives them a home court advantage gives them the rapport they need and in the meantime memory systems excel so what we do is the teaching methods and the response of students is tremendous from the lower functioning students to the higher functioning students. So, yeah, how do they respond? Every kid seems to enjoy it and every kid's doing well.